Odile has been a big time deliverer of moisture in parts of the Who's state. Yeah. So not let's, here. Yeah, hey, not in <laughs> Albuquerque. Did you notice this morning when you got up uh, and we had clear skies? Yeah. What happened? Let's, well, I'll explain that. I guess I shouldn't uh, be asking. I was, still, I was holding out hope we'd see some in the afternoon. I thought it might develop later. Well, you know what? It was. It should have developed later. But let's talk about okay. that and why it didn't and what we're looking at and why we do the bus potential. Now, we looked at the models yesterday throughout the day. Most of the major models we depend on sent the track up toward central New Mexico, which meant Albuquerque would be in the middle of the mix right about now, picking up some moderate rain, which would have helped us in a big way. There was one model that pushed the storm south and would shoot it away from us and not allow for any significant moisture up here. And because of some action to our north, that storm was forced to the south. So areas across southern New Mexico have picked up three to five inches, and we got a big fat bowl of partly cloud today. The difference in the storm track, a little over 100 miles and one lone wolf model saying, wait a minute, this thing's staying south. It's why we do the bus potential. It's why we had it a little higher last night. But I have to tell you, with most of the models saying this thing's going to the north, we went with the northerly track, so we thought Albuquerque would do a little better. We didn't in this case, but the south did. But that gives you an idea of some of what we look at here. Through tonight, the rain will continue across the southeast, and that includes Eddy County and now Lee County with some heavy your rain. Now, most of Carlsbad starting to see a little bit of rain back off here, but it's possible throughout the rest of the night that we could be looking at some heavy storms here. And this is a little bit of an issue. This is some of more of the intense storm activity that we've seen. Now, as a way to look at this, we've actually done okay with high rain amounts. Look at some of these numbers. Mogollon, up around the Bosque del Apache, areas like Benito Lake, Roswell, all have seen significant rain here, but yet we haven't seen a tremendous amount of flooding. Why is that? Well, it's the character of the rain. We've been looking at rain over a couple of days that's largely been light to moderate. Not a lot of thunderstorms. When you get the thunderstorms, you tend to get the heavier rain. What we're worried about tonight is if we get a lot of thunderstorm activity around Eddy County, that could cause some problems. So if we can keep the light to moderate rain, that will keep the flooding at bay and we shouldn't have as many flood issues. We've got to keep those thunderstorms out of here. So far, so good. But Across the southeast, that's the main concern tonight that we'll see a little bit of change in the character of the moisture. 67 degrees in the metro, south southeast winds at 5 miles an hour. Across the north, temperatures mainly 50s and 60s, down to the south, 60s and low 70s. You can see all those showers continuing to stay across the southeast for now. It's not out of the question we could still push a shower into the metro area over the next 24 to 48 hours. But as you can tell, most of this is shooting well off to the south at this point. And a wider look here shows higher pressure to the north, just stuffing things down to the south, so not allowing us to do pretty well here in central sections, unfortunately. Now, throughout the day tomorrow, southeast, east central sections will be the focus for the showers as the rest of what is left of Odile kicks its way on through. Then beyond that, we are going to grab a cold front into the northeast over the weekend. Could dip temperatures a bit. Maybe give us a few showers here and there. We're not totally going to dry out. We're still going to have scattered storms. And then into next week, we'll keep some of those showers going in a scattered fashion across the area as well. And there is the possibility of another storm dropping down to our west well into next week. We'll keep you posted on that as we get a little bit closer. Let's go region by region. Temperatures 70s and 80s for tomorrow. The shot for showers is pretty lean across southern Colorado and across northwestern New Mexico, where temperatures are going to remain in the 70s and 80s. Across the southwest, more of a scattered shower type of deal. But that's sort of a dry out for you guys. You're going to have plenty of cloud cover around. The temperature is going to be in the 70s and 80s. Over to the southeast, this is one of the bullseye points throughout the night tonight and throughout the early portion of tomorrow. Up to the northeast, rain at times here as the storm continues to lift off to the north and temperatures rather cool in the 70s. Over the northern mountains, a little too far west to be a focusing point for a lot of showers, but anytime you have the high terrain, there's that risk of getting some of those storms going. 77 in Tahara, 78 in Edgewood, and 74 in Estancia. Shot at showers for tomorrow. And and here in the metro, lean chance at some showers out there. Temperatures in the 70s and 80s, but a spot storm would be nice. Make me feel better. Saturday, partly cloudy skies. And as we get into next week, the chance for scattered showers returns. A little more activity. Yeah. Good, Mark. Thank you.